Uh, my name is Cesar Hidalgo. I'm a professor at the MIT Media Lab. The MIT Media Lab is an antidisciplinary department that gathers more than 30 different research groups that are working in areas as far you know, from each other as biomechatronics, big data, you know, and music. Uh, we work with a number of different companies. We're a consortia that involves more than 80 different companies, and they come to us not with a specific request, but actually for the creativity. They come for undirected research, and all of the companies come together twice a year to learn what the lab is doing, to learn about the different projects, to interact with the students, and to interact with the faculty. And actually, it's an environment that is very creative, very innovative, and where a lot of interesting things happen. I, I have a definition of big data. So I say data in order to be big, it has to be big three times. It has to be big in size, it has to be big in resolution, and it has to be big in scope. Meaning that you can actually use it to do things other than what the data was originally collected for. Uh, big data is, is a complex issue nowadays because there was a lot of people, and I would include myself in that group, that were doing big data before it was called big data. Then there has been a lot of hype around big data, which I would call it the big mouth hype, you know, and hopefully that is fading away and what's going to be left, I think, are, are very interesting things. There has been very good development, you know, on uh, the engineering side to deal with large data sets. If you think about it, having a website in which there's millions of people online every second requesting content is a very difficult engineering task and people in different parts of the world that have been working to solve that problem have done a great job, you know, uh, being able to develop those technologies. And that's something that is going to stay after the hype is over. Also, I think that there's a revolution in science because now we're able to look at systems at much higher resolution. In the past, when we look at a country, we were looking at aggregate things like, you know, the GDP per capita of the people or the years of education. Now we can look at the industrial composition at very fine resolution. We can look at history in a quantitative way, and that's also another revolution that is coming. You know, we're also developing new ways to visualize and access data and to explore data in different ways such that people can have very personalized experience that tap into that data directly. So I think that's a little bit of where big data is going. It's, it's a revolution, you know, that was recently, I think, going through like a hype cycle that now is hopefully uh, uh, terminating. And as it terminates, I think that there's going to be a few important things that are going to surface, such as the engineering that happened behind it and all of the applications that are beginning to sprout.